Yo, Rose. Dave, just the person I wanted to see. What's up? You got some kind of covert operations need accomplishing? Are we gonna pants Carcat again? No, I... again? No, I've been keeping track of our days. And from my best estimation, today would be Christmas Eve. Whoa, alright. So where's my present, Rose? Dave, I think it would be a prime opportunity to have a cultural exchange with our meteor neighbors. Like a secret Santa. You mean I might get something from Carcat? Lame. And then you reveal yourself to your secret Santa after they've opened your gift. You think you might want to try it? Sounds like Secret Suffer to me. Secret Suffer? It is based on one of our mythological figures, not unlike your Santa Claus. The expatriate went against his duty and did not kill the disciple, allowing her to flee and continue the teachings of the sufferer in secret. The expatriate was exiled, but his contribution to the sufferer's legacy was not forgotten by the sufferer's followers. To keep the spirit of this alive, the sufferer's followers would routinely and anonymously send dangerous and threatening gifts to the Highbloods as a way to remind them that the sufferer's lessons were still being taught. That practice evolved into a yearly ritual of pity and hatred gift-giving among rivals and very close friends. There isn't a young troll on Alternia who doesn't love the life-threatening rush of a secret sufferer gift. During each of our winters, one of us would take up the mantle of Secret Sufferer and organize our exchanges. Kind of like auspicizing on a much larger scale, and not nearly as intense. Don't remind me! If there's an upside to all of this end of the universe behemoth leavings, it's that we don't have to deal with the time wasting self masturbation parade as everyone tries to outdo everyone else with their idiotic over the top ribbon wrapped bullshit! Cow cat. Then there was that one time where Vriska ignored all the rules and just sent everyone a goddamn doomsday machine. None of them worked. Well, almost none of them worked. You know there used to be 13 of us? Not anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Vriska. Yes, well, that is certainly the gist of our little ritual. We scaled it back after that incident. But for the most part, it was a rather enjoyable experience. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. Only without all the... Um... Grievous injury and poisonous bugs that stab your nutsack. Thanks, Dave. What the hell even is the point, then? The point, Carcat, is trading thoughtful gifts with your friends as a way of reminding them how special you are to each other. That sounds both stupid and lame. I'm for it. Me too! Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, not this mess again. Another dream bubble. This is familiar. Yo, landlubbers! What the shell are y'all doing back on my turf? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> rad. Listen up, bulge fondlers. Since none of you have been able to handle the mere concept of not fucking up in new and incredibly awful ways, I'm going to be in charge of the secret sufferer this year. Someone needs to show you incompetent crotch ticks how to do this thing right. You'll receive a follow-up email explaining who your sufferer is. I swear if any one of you reveal yourselves beforehand, you're rocketing right to the top of my shit list faster than a meow beast in a hive full of sway chairs. I know this sounds incredibly simple, but I'm positive all of you will find some incredibly creative way to fuck this thing up utterly and completely. It is my hope that you will all manage, in the vast inky black depths of your ignorance, to not screw it up all that badly. Fuck all of you, CG. Why did they send them all to me? I mean, I knew they would screw it up. I guess I'm just surprised it's not as bad as I expected. Now I have to send these all out myself. Wait, no! <laughs> can't happen! I can't be the one to screw this up! <laughs> this is all your fault, you rancid husk! Now I have to deal with this quite literal shit thank you a lot! 
This one looks like Gamzy put it together. So that goes. And that one. Ah, ah, damn it! Special delivery for, uh, Aradia Megiddo? Ugh, oh, how Garrus. <laughs> like my headaches aren't bad enough as it is. How horrid. Is this some kind of sick joke? Boring. Oh. Whoa, motherfuck. <laughs> Oh, Glubbit! What a mess! Okay, let's get this whole ordeal wrapped the hell up! Hi, Carcat. You probably realize, but our presence didn't make it to the right trolls. But that's okay. I know most of us are enjoying the gifts we did get. mix-up, it was one of the best secret sufferers ever. Thanks, Carcat. <laughs> so how about it, ladies? Oof. I appreciate your holiday cheer and whatnot, but why'd you have to bring up anything about kissing, Sunshine? Sorry, I didn't know how much of a creep he would be. Where'd you find that, anyway? Who keeps mistletoe in a lab on a meteor? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I really regret this particular instance of our cultural exchange, and I will find a way to rectify it immediately. Hmm? Whoa, hey! See that you do? He's hard done up to keep in line. You can't mack on the mayor. He can't afford to have any scandals while he's in office. This may be a bigger problem than I initially conceived. Lips in your fucking face, or like on your face. Whatever. Lay off the mayor. Hi, Roxy. Kelly! <laughs> What's the haps, girlfriend? I hope you don't think this question is too impersonal, but I had noticed you left a rather large box outside your house the other day. Might I inquire as to what the contents are? Box? Box, box. Oh, right! I was just leaving a little prezzy for the neighbors in the Bidzi. A prezzy? What's a prezzy? Oh, you know, like a present. Used to be a thing this time of year where we give gifts to each other. I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> wow, girl, you really are locked up, aren't you? A present is a, a, a thing you give to another person to show them how much you care. We don't got a lot of food here, so I'm leaving those dudes some pumpkins. Jake's got lots, so I traded for them. I hate seeing those little guys go hungry sometimes. Hmm. What an odd concept. Yeah, no. Wait, what? That you would freely give something to another being just because you felt like it. I don't understand exactly why. Do you have any more examples? Sure, um... Okay, so me and Janie and Dirk and Jake like to swap stuff from time to time. Since she got the mad hooks ups with the Crocker Corp, she sent me this neat little gizmo. So in return, I fixed up a little bunny wizard ring for her to say thanks and because she's a special friend to me. Interesting. So there isn't a natural compulsion to give. It is a thing you decide to do? Eh, uh, sort of. Usually it's because you want to do something nice for someone, and sometimes you do it to get something back. I knew it. I knew there had to be a catch. Well, not in a bad way. I'm going to send this book over to D-Strike because he wants to read it. And in return, I'm going to get one of those hella sweet posters he keeps going on about. He has the thing I want, 
and I have a thing he wants. So we swap them so we each have a thing we want. It's mutually beneficial. Beneficial. Mm, one time, Jake wanted one of my poor muties, so I swapped him for a real wicked skull. Like, I don't know what that boy's deal is with skulls, but damn if it wasn't a sweet ass skull. Sign. That's amazing, Roxy. I didn't know such a simple, compassionate act could hold so many meanings. Have the characters who live in your complex ever given you a gift? What's the best gift you've received? You said this time of year. Does that mean you do this regularly? What's the difference between trading and giving? Roxy? 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 Hello? Hmm. Hmm. Aha! I'm sure I put it somewhere in the <laughs> Ah! Disgusting paper! Yeah. Ready to play again whenever you are. <laughs> okay, so the night before the big man comes over, you take these things and stick them on a wall or a chimney or whatever. And when the big man shows up, he's gonna cram these things full of sweet loot, you get me? So we alchemized one for each. Excuse me, but I think you should be aware that you are participating in cultural appropriation. Dude, this is my culture. I can share it with whoever I want. Sorry, but I do not make the rules. You are committing appropriation, and it's very offensive to the culture you've appropriated from. No, see, stockings are from my culture. If I want these dudes to have stockings too, it's okay. I don't think you are the one who understands. This sort of culture should be kept only to those from whom it originated. Other cultures simply cannot understand differences from their own, so I'm sorry, but this is not allowed here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, come on, champ. We've got one for you, too. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow! A new whistle! And you planted a tree in my honor? This is outstanding! A package of unsalted peanut imitation product, 50% gray socks, a collection of scentless soaps, a hairbrush made from artificial brush, racquetball goggles, a kinder egg, I didn't even know they still sold those, let alone that your culture had them at all, a pair of leggings, a sensitive horn polish, a complete set of opaque snow globes, a collection of contemporary coins of common currencies, a bag within a bag with a bag inside of it. What a variety of gifts. How did you manage to fit all of this into a stocking? Control room. Deck. Control room. Deck. I say the Kringle fucker would look best up in the control room. Well, John, I think it would look way better out on the ship's deck. Imagine it, Jade. Everyone snuggled together in the cozy command center by the Kringle fucker. We can even shoot the cannons. Imagine this instead, John. A place on the ship where everyone can see the tree and enough space for everyone. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds kind of dumb. Dumb? Dumb is keeping it in a room where no one can see it! That's the best place because holidays should be cozy and private! What are you two word battling about this time? John thinks the decoration should go up in the control room of the ship. Where they belong, and Jade says we should decorate the deck, which is stupid. Okay, okay, zip your lips for a bit. I got a thing we can try. Bring that junk outside. Mm. This better work. Club. Ah! Ah. Oh, Dave Sprite, this is perfect! If anyone knows what to do with a tree, it's a bird, yo. Recognize. God, finally! Yo, come back and see us whenever you got another gilly holiday y'all want to show her with us, alright? Hey, yeah, Valentine's Day is come. Oof. No! <laughs> no! God! 